Viewer discretion is advised while watching this program. The thoughts and views expressed are solely those of the two hosts. time shit well i emailed you a link i thought i don't know maybe this is too complicated for us maybe having a wave room is too much maybe we gotta stick to what we know and do skype i thought i was recording the whole process of me setting this up that could be good podcast material but I don't know. So far, the quality doesn't look that much. I mean, it looks the same right now, but maybe, maybe like once I put it into YouTube, it'll be different. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder how easy this is to use, too. Laptop is not like it's accommodating. Yeah, what do you? Would I be able to search all, all rooms? Is that an option? Uh, I don't know what I just did. Why is everything so hard? I thought this is the future. Hmm. What the fuck? I don't want help right now. Go away. <laughs> Click start now to start a new meeting. Oh, what the fuck just happened now? No. Nothing. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Ow, fuck. Just hit my teeth on a cup. Yeah, so far, Wave Room, I'm not seeing, like, I thought I'd immediately be able to do, like, cool stuff. Um, hmm, I don't know. Nothing's, I could do full screen. But I thought uh, I'd be able to put backgrounds or like merge things or maybe you got to pay for that shit, but free versions definitely seems limited so far. Hmm. I should open up a different package. What's my fucking password, yo? Did you create an account with them? No, I can't find it in my email because I don't remember the fucking email address. Man. Hang on. Stand by. Stand by. I'll be back. I'm going to put this cup in the sink. (laughs) Start not being plastic in there. Yeah. Wave room. Also, the wave room, it seems to be like really making my computer run hard so far. Because I think it's constantly uploading this shit to a cloud or something. Oh, yeah? yeah. So, should we just fucking shit can this and go back to the other one? 
I don't know. You come this far. It's good. This is like the main part of the episode so far. <sighs> Yeah, boy. This is just insane. If you want, yeah. If you want to just do Skype, then fuck it. It's taking a while. Hang though. on, we no. We come this far. Okay. Here, I gotta go find out with this cat is eating plastic. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'll keep trying to fucking sign in with that link. All right. I don't know where he is. Okay, we're good. I found him. No, no plastic. Maybe I should, uh... Man, I really gotta get this toy room in order this week. This weekend. <clears throat> huh. Yeah, waiver room. I don't know, man. See if wave room's uh top line, top of the line. It just seems like Skype so far. I don't know. We'll see when you pop up if it's any better. Um, yeah, so dead a lot of dead air in this episode. I'll try and uh maybe I'll add a some music later, some free royalty free music so you guys can listen to it. <clears throat> I'll tell you the artist. I hate fucking technology. Yeah, we need Hey to... Daniel Kearney, you just sent me a fucking email. Let me see okay. That's me. I got into the email. Okay. So now I click this link? Yeah. It should just bring you right into the room. Easy. You know? Okay. Ah, wow, earthquake. Okay. Funny, funny library? Funny library, that's my room. Did not pick that name, but... John Cena's here. It's great. Am I... Do you see me? Um, um not yet. Let me see the participants. Yeah, nobody's, nobody else is in here yet. How about now? Oh, do I do, do, I do join meeting now? Yeah. There's a Chris popped up. Okay, I'm gonna hang up the. I think I can hang up the phone, right? I think so. I gave two, you. I gave you a check three, mark. Two, one. one. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, it's fucking up. I'm. I'm, I'm fucking froze. Oh wait. Good. Yeah. Well, you're pixelated as fuck. This ain't working. Is that good or bad? Huh? Is that good or bad? I think it's adjusting because it. Well, I was. I think I was a little pixelated at first. So far, the audio seems way better. Sounds clear. It's. It sounds crisp. Yeah, the, the audio is way better, but the video. I'm not sure it's any better yet. Maybe it's. I mean, mine looks good to me. So I. You know what? The what I was told about this by uh, YouTube videos is. Your your video might look shit to me, or or vice versa, but the thing about this thing is, it's downloading the, like, <clears throat> it's downloading the recording to my, like, to like a cloud, so it's from your computer to the cloud and my computer to the cloud, and it should be like good quality because, when I was putting these up before, it was recording, just from my computer. And and so if your internet connection got weird or whatever, it would the quality would be down and I couldn't do anything about it. So this should theoretically be better overall quality. So yeah, you just don't have your background. I don't know how to do backgrounds. Is there a background? I don't really want to fuck with. I don't really want to fuck with anything after yeah. all the hassle. This yeah. was this was like a a, a forty minute endeavor to oh, get it God. to this far. Yeah, I made this complicated just for this fucking. Whatever we're doing. Hey, this is a test, a test run. Yeah, yeah. I want 
there's got to be more options though. Maybe you have to pay for them, but uh. But like that should be like a basic, like oh shit, where'd you go? I just pressed oh. the camera. I'm just trying to. I just pressed the camera thing. Oh. So, hey, in the bottom right corner, do you have a thing that looks like a page that's smiling at you next to an X? Yeah, that's like a you can chat with people to ask questions or help. Or if you need help, the the team that runs this. I wonder where this. I wonder where settings is at. Huh? I wonder where the settings is at. There's got to be a way to do a background. I think, right? I click on. Hey, so. Let me see full screen. I went to full screen, but that's just for my. Hey, so in the bottom, in the bottom right corner next to the cloud, it's how much is yours uploading? Mine's uploading eighty eight percent. Mine's ninety. Well, I don't know what that. Me- I don't know what that means. Don't know. I think it's just. I don't know. Something to do with the like the quality the that'll make the quality better overall the whole recording. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see you later. All it's right. Good- for our fans that could that, that gave us feedback about poor audio quality, this is for you today. So oh, yeah. hopefully you enjoy it. Uh I got a special shout out. I'm gonna start with this before we get going in anything more serious. Shout out to my good friend Jose Limas, who had me over for a barbecue today. Had one hell of a freaking spread. I mean, we had wow. a a brisket. And then another brisket that he has a meat grinder that he grounded in to make brisket burgers. Wow. I mean, there was enough food to feed the wolf pack times five. Oh, shit. So there was like 15 brisket burgers, a brisket, four tri-tips, freaking bacon-wrapped hot dogs, uh, chips. It was it was quite the feast. So shout out to Jose Limas for having me over for dinner tonight. And almost... I almost was going to be a bitch and stay there and eat till I was fucking fatter than shit. But I was like, no, I promised the apostle, Judah Matthew, I promised the apostle that we were going to shoot this episode today. Yeah, we so, were a little late this week. The fans are probably like, where the fuck are they? Are they going to give up for six weeks again? And then, like, No, we're not no. sick. We're back. This is yeah. the new season. Is this, our, is, this, is this our first episode of our new season? I guess this is. I think this is episode thirty, technically. So it's like a, so season three, episode one, of season three. Yeah, ten episodes a season, but we never stop really. We don't plan to, but it just happened. But it should be uh, pretty consistent. From yeah, on. we'll see how this this wave. We'll try this wave room. We'll see how it is. Uh, comment down below if you like the wave room or if you like the Skype or the traditional way or. Yeah. Any any uh, other any other feedback you'd like to see? Yeah. Once so we, I think that, once we find out more uh, settings or more uh, options, we'll put those in. But I'm gonna crack a beer. Ah, I wish I had a beer. Only have. Hey, I'm on a weird. I'm on a weird schedule, so I'm on, I'm actually off tomorrow. Oh, okay. Then you're cracking a beer makes sense. I don't. I I work. This week has gone by quick, though. I was worried it was gonna be slow as your fourteen after, your fourteen day spell. Yeah, after not having any days off this weekend because I worked Complex Con. So do share, do share the Complex Con weekend if you may, if you will. Okay, let me tell you about Complex Con. Um, I want to hear about Complex. You know Con. what Complex Con is? I have an idea about what it is. It was a big shoe festival, I believe. I mean, to me, it looked it was like it's like streetwear. That's what somebody said. It's like clothing, like random clothing, whatever, art, bullshit, shit. Basically, what I observed is Complex Con is for dudes that uh, it's for ugly dudes that they're they're not like they're not good at anything else, so they're into fashion. And then you're an ugly dude that's into fashion. You could probably get some chicks from it. Yes, song. So JP, sign up. <laughs> Except you don't have any fashion sense. Ah, poor JP. I'm gonna take it one step further. There was fuck you, Robbie. Fuck you, JP. Oh, fuck you, JP. All right. Well, uh, here's a little preview for uh, what we're gonna get coming up, but. 
every year I do the 12 days of fuck you, Robbie. And uh, so now that we have our podcast, that's going to be like one of the featured things every week because it'll, we could do like uh, every week we'll do a special fuck you, Robbie. Like a 10 Fuck you, Robbie. It's going to be awesome. Okay, back to Complex Clan after we got that after we got that shout out in. Okay, so yeah, that was just my observation. It's basically like it's like all the ugliest dudes in the world and they uh they they're into this they're into fashion shoes whatever and then uh they a lot of them had hot chicks with them and it was like it was, it was just like it's a way for dudes to get chicks. Also it was a lot of dudes with the same haircut. I don't know if you're into this haircut and uh viewers can uh yeah, it's like you keep it that's a classic haircut. I have stupid hair, but it's cuz I'm the apostle. I got to keep it long so I look Jesusy. Uh or I would have cut it years ago. I never had long hair before I started wrestling. I always had a fucking buzz cut or something like yours. So, I don't I don't want to have long hair either. But I will never have this fucking haircut, maybe because I'm going bald too, but this fucking haircut that these kids these days have, where it's the fucking Caesar, the bangs, they have bangs, and then they cut it on the sides, like, buzz it. But, like, the fucking, they all have the funny bangs. and the and Do they dye they, it like a gay color? Huh? Do they dye it yellow? I mean, some do, some don't. Most of it's just, like, a weird, like like the Caesar cut, but then they shave the sides and there's like a triangle in the back. And then there's these fucking, if you have curly hair, you just fucking like have a like poofy bangs like that. And then, uh, some of them look like, I think these fuckers are perming their hair or something. Like they're curling their own hair. Cause some of these kids, like it doesn't look natural. They're just fucking like, they got like too many people had curly hair at this fucking thing. Not that many people in the world have curly hair, so something's going on. They all have weird fucking hair, and it's not cool. And I will never understand. Do they have it hair either. like John C. Riley? Huh? Yeah, kind of like John what C. Riley. What happens if they had the little hair like John? Yeah, a little John bit. John C. Riley. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, but they push it forward, and it's just fucking. I don't get it. And uh, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, there's just a lot of fucking, like, every, like, Nike was there, Adidas, whatever. Um, I were was you, were you able to interact with yeah, there's the a lot of WWE Superstars? Huh? Did you get to end, interact with any of the WWE Superstars? No, I didn't even know they were there the first day. And then the second day, I went by to just see if they were out there. And there was, like, Jey Uso and... Rey Mysterio. Yeet! 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 Yeah, and then CM Punk and and uh, some other ones were apparently there, but I missed those. They were giving out free shirts. And that's another thing. So a lot of these clothing options, it's like, it, this is for kids or something, because these clothing options are fucking weird, too. Like, it's like, do, did you like clothes in the 90s? I'm, like, to me... Like, I like the materials they use in clothes today because they're soft. They'll fucking, like, the shirts I get, they hug your arms better. They look they look proper. The 90s clothing was always, like, the, the sleeves were, like, huge and, like, fucking crispy. And the material is fucking rough and, like, and uh, thick. Like, I don't like a, a super thick shirt. It seems like everything at this convention was like super thick, like 90s style, fucking boxy. These WWE shirts they were trying to sell, they were like, yeah, they're wider than normal, but like shorter. So you're like going to have a belly shirt if you're tall like us or something. It's fucking weird. But some of the, some of the stuff was cool, but they're were, they they're just selling t-shirts that are like basic t-shirts. They're like not like 50 bucks minimum. There's nothing under $50. But... There was a, there were like some cool, like you had to pay 200 bucks to get into this thing. Um, so there were free things like there was a Crocs claw machine. You could win Crocs. I didn't win. I kept losing or I set up a few. You were the claw champion. I know, but this one, I was talking shit too. I was like, yeah, I'm, I just won a bear at Denny's last week and then didn't win shit. And then this guy, I kind of set up a girl and she won. 
and I was like, you know what, that was my chance, and it's over now. So I gave, and then plus, I got so many fucking slides from work. I don't need more slip-on shoes. Like, I, like I got too much shit now. Like, like look at this. I'm wearing this fucking thing. I don't. It's like I, I, I have like ten hoodies that I just got this year, and I'm like, in the last few months, I don't need this shit. So. Hey, but you're gonna you're gonna deliver some of the goods this in the next week or so, huh? Yeah, Christmas coming early. Thanksgiving, I'm bringing all the shit. I got like. I, I got like four duffel bags in my and then full of shit and then I have like just extra shit for you and uh I don't know I'm I have one extra duffel bag but it just depends who wants it or maybe we'll do a raffle at the friendsgiving um I was thinking of giving it to Joey though because Joey uh but I don't know if he needs a bag like I don't know where he's going that he needs a bag he he requested some shirts or something, so I get I got a bunch of shirts for him. So maybe we'll do a for the for the venom bag because I I'm giving one to Phil because Phil keeps giving me shit and like he's going to Japan, so he needs one. There's this there's this dude I was gonna give it to that wrestles because I'm like oh he could use it for wrestling whatever, but maybe he doesn't need it. Like I don't even know why I'm giving him shit. Like he's. He's nice. I don't know. And then I definitely have to give one to this dude, Mark, that's my friend over here that, like, he's always giving me shit. Or we went to the pool parties. So I definitely got to hook him up. And then I'm trying to think who the other one is. Oh, well, Phil, Mark. I don't know. I had a bunch of them. But uh, we'll see. Maybe I can get you and Patrick one, too. Hey, Zeus and Romero probably shouldn't. Don't, they don't get one because they have families and, like, they don't need it. You guys are, you guys don't have families, so you can. It's Eric. Hey, it's it's Eric's birthday. Oh, maybe give it to Eric. What size did size did Eric say he wore? I think he was an XL. I think. I thought he said L or XL. Two X or something. Maybe he was two X. Eric, know. if you watch, Eric, if you're watching and hear this, put your put your comment in yeah, for put your size. I, put your size in, Eric, because you didn't I, even put in for shoes. Yeah, I didn't put anything in to the side for eric because he didn't he didn't say shoes he didn't respond didn't respond so i don't know what to do i don't know what size to get him uh, if i have any hey, so over, but my lady's been fucking passing all the shit out to the like distributing all these boxes where you're supposed to send it's going to cost so much money to send these across the country to new york so i don't even know man <laughs> I got you got go. so much shit you just got so much shit. Oh, it was, it's like, if you, so I took a table, there's like a, I took, they, cause there was a table set up and we got this, this big ass U-line, like industrial metal with like wood top table. And I built it. And then they're like, yeah, just get rid of this full. It was one of those, the plastic tables that folds in the middle. And the boss was like, just get, just throw that out because that one like pinches your hands. Just keep the ones that are solid because they're good. And I was like, oh, we're throwing some out. That means it goes to my house because I can't fucking stop taking shit that's going to get thrown away. So if, if you have an extra table, I'll take an extra table. I you can always use table. table. But basically okay, I set right. it up and it was like a merch table or like a swap meet in my garage. And I was just setting out all these clothing in, in size category. And like the one, I mean, I had a shitload of medium. So that's another thing. That's the reason I, I made this dude a bag because I had so much medium. And he says medium. So I was like, I'll make him a whole bag. But maybe I could just put it in a different thing. But I think he might use it. So I don't know. I might just give it to him. He's helped me with <laughs> wrestling stuff. So this know. is just insane. So I got to say. The first one that made any any comment about anything for Thanksgiving was Eric. Probably because it's his birthday uh, and he wasn't doing anything. And then his birthday fell on Survivor Series. So oh, yeah. He's, is he coming? He's That's coming. Me, right? He's coming. He's going to be here. And so here's here's where I was going to go. Here's I'm thinking the itinerary for Friendsgiving. Now that I'm off on Saturday. Right? Sorry. I'm sorry. You got the day off too now, right? I got the day off Saturday, so I can't get too 
twist it up because I got to go into work on Sunday now. I'm driving back on but, Sunday, uh, so I can't go too crazy either. Plus, I I'm I gotta film this for the for the you real. Gotta film the real. Our our, our our fans our fans want to yeah. see us in action. So here's what I'm thinking. I don't know what time we could start on Saturday, but I'm thinking the first thing we do is we watch that Night of the Living Dead. Do you want me to get the DVD so you can put it on? Whatever. Like in the or I can put the picture or whatever. It's right here. I have it right here. Yeah. So we could do it's like right we could do like an all day. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So we could start with this watch along. Okay. The 30th anniversary that most people think is sacrilegious. Okay. But I think we could just kind of watch it because it's only like an hour and a half. Well, it's maybe an hour. It's probably 105 minutes with the extra footage in it. Yeah. I think we could we could we could watch it. Yeah. And then have maybe a little round table and discuss it on camera okay. with the group with the wolf pet. Look, my eyes opened up. And I got excited now. Yeah. And. Uh, like it looked like I was falling asleep for some reason. So we could do that. We could have our round table, have a discussion, and either shit all over the, the the new film or talk about it. And then we could take a break and we can make dinner. And then we'll eat dinner. And maybe that could coincide with timing. If we time it right, we could watch the Survivor Series shortly there after dinner. Okay. Yeah, because like the Survivor Series starts at probably five, right? Four or five. I would assume five. I think so. So we could, yeah. If so we if we did, the, if we did Night of the Living Dead at two. Yeah, and then we could just plant like, hopefully it could all flow, and then just instead of because you have to work or I and I have to drive and whatever. At, at when the pay per view ends, we're kind of like we're kind of wrapped at that point. We don't need to go into the late, the late hours like we usually do. We're there longer in the morning, but or we could do we could do an all day. We could do mimosas breakfast. And then turn yes, in. Yes, that's a possibility too. Because I could we could do the flat the flat grill, and we could make pancakes and sausage and bacon on there. Yeah, I don't know. I think I could do that I, early, but if we could, we I could think I could do pancakes on the grill, on the flat, on the flat, on the flat grill. Yeah, this is. Uh, there's some options we could do. We could start a breakfast. So, we could move into the fucking watch some early Survivor Series, maybe, and then go into the Night of the Living Dead, and then. But I don't know. It's up to you guys. What you guys want? I mean. We we told our so our uncle invited us to Thanksgiving, which he does every year in Ventura. But the the thing is, like we've been before, and it's like my uncle and aunt we know them, but then my aunt has a kid that's like, I mean, her kid is like he's like fifty or sixty or something, but he's like he has a whole family. So every time we go, it's just like a fucking let's. Like, oh, come visit with the uncle and aunt that you know, but also all these fuckers you don't really know that you've met a few times and you gotta like you gotta like hang out with them and like split time and shit. So it's like we don't we don't wanna go to their Thanksgiving. So uh they were having that on Saturday and we're like, Sorry, Unc, we're we're going to the swamp on Saturday. We'll come visit you we'll visit you on Sunday. So on the way back from uh to Vegas, I'm gonna stop and visit them. I think the plan. So that's how important the swamp, the swamp's giving is. Is we're uh, we're passing up, we're like un sorry, uncle and aunt, we're not going. So, Sal, Sal the butcher, Sal the butcher has been put on high alert. That I need some of his finest, and when Uncle Chris says finest cuts for. Swamp Viber series. Swamp Viber series. For, That's good. I like that. Or swamp? Did you say Swamp Giving? Swamp Giving. Yeah. Or as as Eric put it, Friends Giving. So Eric is so fired up, he volunteered to do his world famous mashed potatoes and a pie. Oh wow! So I told Eric, I says, Eric, just do the mashed potatoes. We'll let somebody else be in charge of dessert. 
I was going to say, I could, so, I mean, I'll be, so my plan is to drive on Thanksgiving day because nobody's driving that day. Everybody's driving Wednesday. Right. I think I've done that before. So I should be like flying, be not get a ticket, like just fucking be able to like not hit traffic. And then, uh, so I'll have a couple of days to prep and I could probably do peanut. You butter could do pie. that famous pie. Fe- famous peanut butter pie. The famous peanut butter pie? Maybe even, uh, I usually I think it makes two, though. Because it's, I don't know. Or maybe I'll, I'll try and or, do, like, double up, do some other dessert also. If you did what you did the last time when you brought the donuts, but the donuts would be two days old by then, huh? Yeah. Yeah, those are pretty good. Donuts were big. The donuts I, were I like huge. Them. Those were expensive as shit. Those were expensive as shit. I saw the receipt when I was throwing them, when I threw the empty box away. When I saw the receipt, I almost shit my pants. I got every special, everyone was like a special, like three or four dollar donut. Yeah, it was like a $64 dozen donuts. Yeah, something like four, Shout I, out to the Pink, Pink Box, right? Was that what the place was called? Pink Box Donuts? Pink Box, yeah. They're pretty, they're pretty good though, but I don't know if they're 60 bucks good. So did I tell you. Back to the complex, did you the complex con? Did you see anybody from Cool Kicks? You know what? So the, I got there and our booth was like right in the front, and you had to like to get there. You could just walk like a very simple way. So I didn't. I was trying to avoid the crowds and not walk like through crowded places. So I uh, I didn't really explore until the second day, and then when I did, it was like it was very. Uh, it's very uh like I I wasn't reading which where these places were where these people were from so like I don't think I saw Cool Kicks they might have been there but I I would walk by a booth and it'd be like didn't really there weren't like signs on many of them it was a lot of like you had to go in and ask where are you from and then they'd be like oh we're this or that but I they might have been there I who knows um did you. How was your last trip to Cool Kicks? It went well. I got everything that I had been wanting. Nice. I got, I got, the, I got, if you watch the last video when I went, when they shot me down, this time when I went back, everything that I wanted the last time, I ended up getting. Oh, nice. So it was a, it was a successful, it was a successful Cool Kicks trip. That sounds awesome. And they stopped at Whole Foods and had a Pliny on the way home in a slice. Fuck yeah! Very, very, very successful cool, cool Kicks trip. Are you uh the so, green, the Kelly Green guy again on Cool Kicks? I didn't end up getting on the video because to go to Rami it was twenty five minutes, but wow. then Frankie, he was the other guy that was in that picture with me. He was just sitting there watching. There's like, if you want to go to Frankie, you can get in now. Okay. I was like, perfect. So I'm talking to Frankie. And Frankie's like, a, he's he's learning how to play golf, and he has videos of playing golf. And I, I told him, I was like, hey, man, if you ever want to play a cool golf course, and I know it's about 150 miles uh, north of here at La Parisima, he looked it up on his phone. He's like, oh, bro, that's near Santa Barbara. He's like, I got some cousins that I fuck with up there once in a while. All he's right. like, yeah, give me the number. So he gave me his phone, and I put my number in his phone, and, and, and I called my phone. So I have Frankie from Cool Kicks' number. I could text him and say, hey, if you're ever up this way, I'm that guy that you bought those pine green and uh, SP fours for that bought those yeah. SP four pine greens. Let him know you so, play around the golf illegally. It's sneaky. Yeah, it's sneaky. So very, very, very happy with the the last trip to Cool Kicks. Nice, that's cool. It's good to hear. Yeah. Uh, what else? Figure of the week. Yeah, I, I probably got two. Uh, I, I did a, I did a fucking order on. This might be some of the last figures of the week for a long time until Christmas because if I get, I'm trying not to buy anything because uh, fucking uh, have a bunch of debt, house debt, credit cards, and bullshit. So uh, sucks growing up. Being an adult sucks. Oh, it's the worst. It's like I thought, I thought uh, I had everything together, and I'm like, oh yeah, got a lot of credit card debt. So uh, we're we're gonna work out of it. My lady got a second job because uh, she didn't like her first job anyway. Her her credit card <laughs> debt is worse, so 
that's what that's why I had to work this complex con because I'm fucking I have all this fucking stuff to pay off. So this is one of the last orders I did on my own. This is a Walmart order, which is like probably the worst place to pre-order from, and because they're notorious for canceling pre-orders about a month before you're supposed to get actually get them. So you, so like I've been seeing shit in stores, and I'm like, should I buy this? Because Walmart's probably gonna cancel my pre-order. It's not supposed to come till November, but they came. So I haven't seen this in stores. I don't think this one's gonna be hard to come by. Maybe. But it's Eddie Guerrero, fucking uh, Eddie's my favorite wrestler shirt. This is WCW Eddie, where he's got the cruiserweight title, and uh, mullet Eddie. This is probably like the peak. It's probably peak uh, like uh, working Eddie, I think. Like he was the best worker. He wasn't like maybe the best personality. But he was a good heel. It's like uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it's the best. It's like uh, probably the coolest look he had before he got like too juiced up. He he started getting less mobile and fucking I don't know, but yeah, he's got the mullet. Mullet speak Eddie. You know, I think it's W. Yeah, it's W C W. It says uh, he faces. This is from a match he faced his nephew Chavo. This reminds me what? of what. Yeah, this is from a match he faced Chavo. It reminds me of uh, the WCW games on PlayStation and then uh, N64. I feel like this was one of the default attires. So that was a good WCW versus NWO. Or versus World Tour or whatever the fuck. Revenge. Revenge. That was a good WCW game. Revenge, yeah. I believe. So that was good Eddie. Probably the best Eddie. That's Eddie, I remember. I, I got that other Ultimate Eddie, but he's super jacked. I should get that one down and show you, but I don't know where the fuck it is. Do I have that one? I don't even know. I think I have it, but there's a Eddie, there's a Ultimate Eddie or fucking something, and he's just, like, way too jacked, like, way too huge. Like, his, the torso's, like, the widest, tor like, the piece of torso. It's weird. So then I've been seeing this one around, but I'm like, Oh, I won't get it because I got the pre-order, and if it doesn't come, then I don't get it. I got the Foley, fucking the night he won the title. They said put asses in the seats, and then on WCW, and then everybody tuned in. Um, Freaking Socko! You get a Socko, you get a mask for that head. Um, you get the title, the hands. Dude, um, soft that trip. belt you don't. You don't get that belt a lot, right? Uh, this one? I've seen it. It just depends. Like, there's an Austin and a Rock that both have it, I think. Ultimates. But, uh, yeah, it's it's the 91. And then, uh, he, uh, yeah, he, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, soft good shit. Is that Mankind or is it Mick Foley? Oh, that's Mankind. Mankind. Because he was Mankind when he won for the title. He even says on the back, uh, it was the Monday night that flipped the wars. Mankind finally got his WWE championship opportunity against The Rock. WCW announcers took a pot shot at the main event, unintentionally causing WCW Nitro viewers to flip to Monday Night Raw. After 84 weeks, WWE finally surpassed WCW in the ratings with D-Generation X lifting Mankind on their shoulders as the new WWE champion. Wow. What a... What a... Uh, right up there like this he's got the this is a good head right here you can't really tell but he's got the tongue sideways i think that might be on another one we have like the the hell in a cell one but i think that's he did that because he is sticking the tongue through his lip or something i don't know <laughs> that's a good head though but yeah might be hey, who so knows it's gonna be figure of the year i don't know the the awards are hey, so soon maybe i don't know I think we had discussed this on a prior episode where we were talking about getting fully figures where you weren't planning to get any more fully figures. Yeah. But now you've got after the after after getting the three faces. Yeah. So now I think you've got at least two two different ones. So if you ever ever met him again, what would you take to get signed at this point? I think the three faces of fully cuz well no, I don't know. Yeah, probably that. Not that one. 
That one is freaking cool that as one's fuck. Cool, but I think that was cool as fuck. I like the defining moments the Hell in a Cell one. Maybe a little better than this one. I feel like I'm just gonna unbox this one because. So I unbox some, but I try not to do the ones that are like I think are gonna be worth more or whatever. And I feel like defining moments is gonna be worth more, and it's. I would get like a second one just to open it, but with this, I wouldn't get a second one. I would just open it, display it. That might be the one to display. But the three faces, I feel like he'd sign it three times, huh? Yeah, and I don't know how he do like if he charges extra for each signature, or he's just like that's one item and I'll do all three. That's the deal. But like, I feel like that would be the coolest, and then I'd probably get a second one if ringside had it like that i think you should or all let me know if you see all the ringside sales are going to be happening some of these things are going to be like super cheap like way cheaper than we paid for them so if you want some some cheap ass uh things that you passed up check out ringside because the especially around christmas the sales get crazy what about that heart foundation that I've been jonesing for? Um, so the uh I'm I noticed that uh George the Animal Steel and uh Roddy Piper two pack, which is in that series, that's on sale right now. And it's like half off. And last year I forget when it was, it was either around Christmas or right after Christmas, but all of the the old ones, the old uh, Coliseum collections, they all went on sale, which is how I got the... Jake and the... Yeah, I got Jake and Rick Rude because I wasn't going to get that, but then it was half price, so I, I got it. So I think the Heart Foundation's at the one after George Steele and uh, Piper, so I bet that's going to go on sale also. And, then, and they went half off, correct? Hopefully, because... Yeah, it was seventy bucks, but it's thirty five half off. Or it's buy one get one half off. So if if it goes on sale like that, then we can just both get it. And those are I'm almost like thinking I'm down to like it's gonna like unless it's like the Sandman where I'm like, Oh, I gotta get a Sandman but like I think I'm kinda done collecting a lot of these basic shit shits because uh just too fucking many, but like the Coliseum collection is kind of cool. It's different, special packaging and all that shit, and like only certain guys. Like they just came out with Million Dollar Man and Ricky Steamboat, which I don't know. which is interesting because I never remember them feuding. Yeah, I mean either. I don't know what. Uh, I think it's just other LJN style guys that they decided to pick. And uh, I don't think it's anything to do with uh, them feuding necessarily. Like, Pi did Piper and George Steele feud? I can't remember. Probably not. They might have had, like, one match. Or, like, Hogan and Terry Funk definitely had a match. That was the first one. That was, like... Saturday Night's Main Events, right? Yeah. And then the second one, Rude and, and Roberts had one had a feud but then i think they were like well we're gonna make more guys that had ljns but like which ones had feuds i think there were, i don't know it could have been like a like a short build like steamboat and million dollar man we're forgetting I don't know. did you ever get the outsiders no still so i i want i kind of i'm kind of like on the fence about them like i don't want to get them unless they're super cheap because i think i showed you before but i already have them in their like with their bandanas backwards thing like i'll show you right now so. i thought i thought you had ordered that one and see i have the, them right there with the okay two sweet and they've got the bandanas and it's like it's pretty cool and they were both like only only like twenty. I mean, it was the standard price, like twenty bucks each or whatever. But then, uh, this Outsiders two pack is like seventy, so it's like thirty five each. And I'm like, I just can't afford this shit right now. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm technically, 
an employee of TKO, but nobody's giving me free figures yet. So like, fuck, man. Until that happens, you I haven't guess. got to the free figures. You haven't got to the free figures yet. Yeah, and it's a ringside exclusive. So my, I I've been I fucked myself in the past a couple times not buying shit when I see it, but for the most part, it seems like everything eventually goes on sale. You play the long game. So I, I'm at least waiting until it drops a little bit, but it might not be for a year. So whatever. I don't need that one. The one I'm kind of mad about is the Dudley boys. They came out with a ECW Dudley boys. And I wanted that for, I got an ECW area, but they sold out on ringside and on Mattel creation. So I'm like, how does they got to make more? Like, it doesn't make sense. It, but the other thing that I heard about those is Bubba is like scaled weird, and he's pretty much a giant. He's not scaled to how how tall he should be. He's like way taller. So I'm kind of like, ah, they'll make another one to correct it, and I'll get it eventually. But whatever. Did you have Did you have a chance over the weekend to watch the UFC this weekend? Yeah. So Complex Con kind of. I got off a little late, and then I was going to go watch at my friends or at Red Rock Casino, but uh, my lady... That's where playing. we went, Red Rock. Yeah, my lady. That's the free place, right? Huh? Red Rock, that's the free place. Uh, you gotta, Is that correct? You got to pay like 20 bucks to get in, but... Oh. But I got... My lady was going to some, like... She plays kickball with people or something, and it was like the end of the year party. So she took me to some wine bar, and then I just sat in the corner and watched it on my phone, watched you see on my phone, and then they're giving me wine, and I was drinking wine. And then after UFC ended, I was like, there's a, a brewery called Abel, Abel Baker down the, like, just across the street. So I walked over there and got a burger and a flight of beers, which somehow I picked all stouts. Like, I was kind of paying attention kind of pick him by name and and somehow i got like three stouts and a ipa and but what they're all good it was just like it's like a heavy it's a high percentage heavy deal i sh if you guys ever come abel baker's cool we'll go to abel baker they, abel they had, baker they had a shitload they had like 40 beers and uh a lot of them were their beers but then they had uh, like six, you couldn't pick for the uh, for the flight, and one of them was the celebration that you're drinking, right? The Sierra Nevada. So, this is one of my favorites, man. It was good. Uh, so I got a pint of that on the side. This is such good shit. Yeah, it was good. So Abel Baker, top notch. They always have something like that on tap also. I can only imagine how good it is on tap. Yeah, it was really good. Oh. I was pretty, uh, was like suffering a little bit the next day when I had to go to Complex Con, but made it through. So, do you think John Jones's next fight will be with Alex Pereira or with Tom Aspinall? I mean, they're kind of. He was saying all this shit like he didn't want to fight Aspinall. But it's kind of like that whole thing where you say you don't want to fight a guy and then it makes the fight bigger. That's what some people were saying. And then, like Dave Meltzer. And then uh, Pereira, I mean, that's a bigger money fight. But then it's like, where do you go? It's like you're splitting things too much if you have Pereira. And it's like you're going to make a lot of money on that one fight. But the future might be all fucked up from it. It'll be like, okay. If Jones beats Pereira, then it's like Pereira's down slightly. It's like he lost the best ever or whatever, but also he lost, so it's not good. And then if and then Jones is probably retiring soon, or if not after that fight. So it's like, well, you made John Jones a bigger star, and then he's retiring, so what's the point? And then if Pereira won, it'd be like, okay, Pereira's, he's the new greatest of all time. And then, like, so that... That's what you would hope for. But I think with Aspinall, it's like, okay. And then Pereira's never fought heavyweight. 
So if he fights Aspinall, Jones will, uh, he could like, if he loses, then it's like, yeah, Asp whoever, whoever wins is the real heavyweight champ. If, if Jones wins and then decides to retire or whatever, if he wins, he could still fight Pereira. And if he loses, he can just retire and be like, okay, that was it. Or he could still fight Pereira. And then, uh, at least we got the heavyweight champ, like the legit heavyweight champ. The Pereira one's just like, I don't know. If they just want to make money on one fight, then it's probably a better idea. But for the future, it seems like Aspinall would be better. But I don't know. What do you think? I agree with everything you said. And the money fight is, the money fight for the casual UFC fan like myself is Pereira and Jones. Uh -huh. But do you do you sacrifice Pereira? Although me personally, I don't think Pereira would lose to Jones. Not do you sacrifice? Do you sacrifice Pereira's long term thing to make Jones a bigger star, or do you use Jones to do the job for Pereira and completely build him? Yeah, I mean, it, it just for the fact that like. If 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 Jones beats Aspinall, it's like Aspinall is not this huge star yet, and it would be good if Aspinall beats him, and he'll be a much bigger star. If Jones, the risk reward is like good, like in UFC's favor with that one. With Pereira is like the top star that's active right now, besides Jones and like Connor, who aren't very active, but. If he loses, even to Jones, it's not it's it's a, he's a notch down. And if he wins, he's a much bigger star, but not as like it it would raise him a little bit or a lot or whatever. But then if Aspinall beat Jones, it would raise him much more. And if Aspinall loses, then it's like who gives a shit? It's Aspinall. Nobody thinks he's like the best. Nobody cared player. much about Aspinall to begin with, right? At that point. Yeah, it's like I don't know. Aspinall's he's fine and he's he's probably the best heavyweight right now, but he's not like a huge star. What do you think would happen if Aspinall met Pereira? Oh, I don't know. I I really haven't seen Aspinall fight as much as uh, he has. Like I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen one of his fights all the way through. So I don't really know what I'm talking about. But from what I this is all like from what I hear, and I'm like. I don't know, just like listening to wrestling radio shows and all that. Yeah, to me, it's that's the way to go. Aspinall and Jones. And then if you really want, if he can get past Aspinall or not, he can face Pereira later. Do one more fight. I was telling my, my colleagues that you gave some, some intel that the UFC TKO, they brought that special guy in to fight Pereira that they're going to groom specifically for him. What was that guy's name? The kickboxer? What? Didn't you say they brought a special guy in? I don't think so. I thought you told me that. A special guy? Like a guy that, that like a kickboxing guy to fight Pereira that they they got on the back burner specifically for him to I fight. I think that was me that said that. I thought somebody told me that. Somebody might have, but not. I don't recall saying that. I don't know who you who the, you're talking about. Or oh shit! Uh, maybe maybe it'll come pop up later, but I don't think it was me. Oh, so there's not some special kickboxing guy? I don't think so. No, no. I thought Pereira maybe was I'm... the special kickboxing guy. Oh, Pereira was the special kickboxing guy that they brought in for Adesanya, maybe? Yeah, God damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. because he beat Adesanya, and they, they brought him in, or he started doing MMA, and then they're like, well, he beat the champ, so like, why doesn't he fight the champ? They gave him a couple of fights and beat people, so they're like, yeah, let him fight the champ. And then, fuck him. Oh, maybe I got the thing backwards then. Yeah, that might be it. I'm just thinking in the past. Time travel or something. Can... Oh, man. Wow. I feel like a dope. Nah, you're good. That's it happens. I I've been uh I don't even know what date it is 
or it doesn't seem like Wednesday, it should be Wednesday yet, but I'm glad it's almost Thursday. I get a I get a day off Saturday, and then I'm in a, I'm doing a fucking wrestling on Sunday. Oh yeah, it's just a battle royal, so it's it's like not with your not with the group. Nah, so like that seems like independent wrestling part two. It's like typical shit where it's like okay. I haven't been on a show since that show, so it's almost like the guy that quit, it's like, oh, your whole group quit, but the other two people have been on shows, so, like, it's just me. It's just the guy either doesn't like me, or he's like, I don't know, like, what, I got stuff planned for these other two, but, like, you're, like, or I don't show up to practice, or whatever the fuck it is. Like, I'm just not gonna show up to practice. Like, I'm not a good practicer. I'm a better... In, like we talking about practice yeah, who's who's practicing these you know this practice? Is, who the fuck pra- like which what superstars practice is that a thing you write the damn match down you don't practice yeah what the fuck are we talking about here it's like and like i don't know about We're talking you. about practice I ain't, I ain't doing practice how are you gonna get better by practicing the match practice makes me worse in fact, like, cause then I, cause then I start to set, I'm at practice and people are like, whoa, why'd you do that? And I'm like, you're so, like, you're doing I guess myself. And like, what the fuck's going on here? What are you talking about? Practice. I just, I like doing stuff. And then when I go to the fucking California and wrestle, nobody says anything. They're like, yeah, you're great. Like, this is great. But then I do in Vegas, I'm over here trying to fucking do a match. They're like, oh, you didn't show up to practice. There, and then, what's up with this fucking WWE ID shit? Have you seen this shit? No. So like, they're just going. They're just kind of raiding the indies. It seems like a little bit. They're just going to indie shows. And like, oh, you're you're ID'd. So they give them a. They're giving them a little money or something. I don't know what the fuck it is. One of the Vegas guys got that. And I'm sure that. That's part of it too. the The promoter just wants people they thinks they're gonna get uh, brought up that like could possibly be a uh, WWE or somewhere. So then he can say that, and then he get more students. It's, it's all in my tutorial on independent wrestling. I think I've talked about that before. But yeah. So one of the guys that you know is WWE been like WWE ID'd. Yeah, there's a lo- there's a local guy that I've met that he, he got on that list, which I who knows what that really means. Like maybe they're giving him a little money so he doesn't like go to AEW and then like, but until one of those ID people goes to the NXT, it's kind of like what does it even mean? You're just like you're just in a holding pattern, and then like nobody knows what it means yet. It's just something they're doing online. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. Well, it's always going to be good because TKO, WWE, UFC, best in the industry, number one. Yeet! 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 Nobody can compare. They are the best. We're number one. Uncle Dana, thank you. Oh, I heard about Uncle Dana emailed me the other day and said, my crew, we're going, we're doing a, we're going to treat you like rock stars. He's renting out a fucking club in town on, in December. And we're going to. For your Christmas party? Yeah. And I've heard in Uncle the past, ben? there's been some quite cool, cool uh, performers. Like uh, a couple years ago, they had Kid Rock. And then uh, last year they had Nelly. And then the past they had Snoop. So, Uncle Uncle Dana can put on quite a Christmas party. I hear. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, it's open bar, but it's on a Monday, and I have to work Tuesday. So, could be trouble that Tuesday. We could be like, okay, guys, no forklifts today. We're closing the warehouse today. Warehouse. We're gonna close the warehouse. Down. Well, we'll see. I don't know what happens. So, so Uncle Uncle Dana sent you an email. So it's probably similar to the one uh, Mr. Albertson sends to you, where it's where it's like, hey, but it's to 
pay to five five hundred and fifty thousand other people. Hey, uh, we need you to cut labor and increase sales and profits and uh, don't spend any extra money. I mean, I'm basically we want, we want, like, we want a miracle. I honestly, uh, I was listening to this podcast. And it's like exactly how I feel about politics where it's like, it's like, oh, Trump won. Okay, great. Like, so gas prices are just going to go down. That's not how it works. Like the president just doesn't make gas prices go down. You didn't just say gas price down now. So, like, what's really going to fucking change for me? Nothing really changes with any of these fucking elections that I can, besides 401ks go up because people think shit. It's not going to tax your overtime. Huh? Oh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of claims, but we'll see if it actually fucking happens. But the one thing I do know is that Uncle Dana does love him some Trump. So maybe. The bonus this year will be a little more than in years past. I don't know. We can only hope. Is is there a story behind why he called him Uncle Dana? I just I joke around at work. I'm like, oh, Uncle Dana. <laughs> just, or whatever. Had you been doing that before, before Jones said that the other day? Before who? Jones said that right at the Did end he? of the fight when they were interviewing him. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't hear that. Kind of like, kind of like the first, the first thing of Yeet. Like you just had to have been watching when he said it. Like when, yeah. when he, when he was all drunk, yeah, he was drinking yeah, yeah, out yeah. in the bar. That's what's Yeet. Funny, right? Yeah, it's Yeet. Just like for the moment, like oh, Papa Dana or whatever, you know, say something stupid and then somebody catches on. But what was I going to say? Uh, How about your other teammates were there? Stephanie and Triple H were at the at the oh. at the event. Your your other colleagues. Oh yeah, can't wait to have a team meeting with them in your future. Hopefully, they're, absolutely. They're a lot of shit. I just saw a lot. They put a fence around a lot. Like they're going to do construction. I'm guessing it's for them. I don't know. I don't know though. But it's across the street. But it could be. I don't know what else they would be building there. Coming soon. We'll see. Coming soon. Be, uh, Tune in. Working at a performance center in your future. Oh. That was the claim months ago. But Interesting. I, know not, I don't know. I don't know. I don't act like I'm. The one thing I do know is uh, I saw the belt that Trump held up, I think, the other day. That was about the Jones belt they gave to Trump. I think I I touched it. To, you saw it. I think I touched it the other day. So, but I don't want to say much more. Oh, Jones doesn't. Jones doesn't take that home with him. They only uh, so if you've won that belt before, then you don't get to keep it. Uh, they just they always send a new one in case like st say Steve A won and he had never held a belt. They don't make you bring your old belt, but. When you win it the first time, you get that belt, and then they just there's a side plate, and they add little rubies to it every time you win. So like the you win the first time, you have a side plate, and there's one ruby, and then the next time you you keep the belt, but the next time you win a, a championship match, they add another ruby to your side plate. So he, they always we we send out a belt. To every championship fight, but no, sometimes like I don't think either of them would have got to keep it because I think Stipe had the the newer belt also before, right? So I don't know. It's very. Uh, I thought maybe it was like the, the, they didn't trust Jones to be. They thought he might have been like Jeff Hardy. Nah. He 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 shouldn't be traveling with the belt. Sometimes they just give belts to people. They're just like, yeah, just just uh. He, like he won the fight and he's retired. Like if he was retiring, they might have just been like, keep that belt too. You can have both. But hey, that could be they could give you out some belts at the Christmas party. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're gonna give out pri like prizes, like you know, usually they give out something. Or if it's just gonna I mean, because it's at a nightclub and the nightclubs charge a lot for drinks and shit, so it might just be like, Well, the amount of drinks we're buying are worth thousands thousands of dollars so that's all you get 
but yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll do a full so that's report. Be, uh, what, 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 can. what day is that? That's something to look forward to to report on that. That was the main thing I was hearing about, and I was like, well, I at least got to stay employed until after the Christmas party just to see what happens. So I just got to make it another month, and then I'll be good. We'll see. I don't know. They seem to like me so far. Maybe they, as long as I'm not. What else, manager, mate? Yeah, that's what they say. The big boss, the bigger boss, the one right below the guy below Dana came in today and wanted me to mail like a luggage rack. And I was like, she's seen, she's like, this place looks great. I was like, yeah, it's all, it's all <laughs> right here. Uh, she was excited. So hopefully. Did you say, God damn pal, it looks great. God damn pal. Yeah. I could, I could send this luggage rack to New Jersey for you. No problem. They had me send a belt the other day and they insure it for $30,000. So that's, it doesn't seem like I should be doing that, but. Mailing uh, a belt? Yeah. That's how it goes. A wise man told me if you have a belt, you have to be willing to defend that belt. Keep an eye out for that because uh, some people get belts that have never probably fought in their life, you know? So you got to. He got the advantage. Challenge them. They have to defend it. I can't believe that was one of your job duties to mill a bill. That's cool. Yeah. I'll tell I'll tell you guys off air who it, who it was to. Or if you subscribe to the Patreon. If we can get one hundred thousand viewer, one hundred thousand viewers. Yeah, if we get a hundred thousand, and I can start make. If we can get me to be making more money at this at these podcasts than the job I do now, then I will I will tell all the secrets, and then I'll and we'll mail you a belt. I'll probably get sued because I signed some non disclosure things, but I don't know. Are you able to talk about the belts? Is there just like a room full of belts that you're able to just go to the room, get a belt, and mail it, or you can't talk about that? I don't know. I can't really say. I would. Okay. I have no idea, really. I don't know what's going on, honestly. Me and the warehouse boys, we just uh, we just keep our heads low. And we say, just keep your head down and work and move pallets. Yeah, they say we need a T-shirt sent to. Uh, we need these gloves sent to Abu Dhabi. And I'm like, okay, or Brazil. We send shit to Brazil, and it takes it, the printout is like fourteen pages long, and you got to put three customs things. Brazil must be—I don't know why—they must steal a lot in Brazil. So is it like like event worn gloves, or the gloves that these guys want to wear? Or yeah, we were. Oh, did you hear about the glove debacle? We were sending a lot of new. There's new gloves. They've been using for a while, like six months. And uh, we were sending out gloves to all these people just so they could try them out, like get used to them before their fights. But then John Jones, was he didn't like the new gloves. And apparently uh, Dana announced that they were going back to the old gloves. So I don't know how that's... So I don't think we'll have to... So that's good for me. I don't think I'll have to send out new glo- the new gloves anymore. So that's good. So there's a there's a whole shit ton of, of gloves laying around, is what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, they had a lot of gloves made, so I don't know how it's gonna pan out, but we'll see. They're gonna end up on a table in your garage. I mean, if we're, <laughs> it'll probably be like we gotta destroy all of these, and then who knows? But yeah, but. I'm glad not a lot of people watch this now because I feel like some of this, this was a Joe Rogan podcast and uh, be like, oh, you can't say that stuff. I should probably get demoted, but you know. we, I don't think right. our 20 viewers will uh, say anything. All right. Do you have anything else you need to get off your chest? Not really. I got to shower and go to bed. We're going to bed by 10 hmm. usually. 
about you? Good. I had to go work. I had to go work night crew this morning. Oh, that sucks. It did kind of suck, Time but uh, I went in about one thirty. Shit, that's the worst because it's not like it's not like early morning and it's not late night. It's like right in the middle. Those guys needed some pep talk and to be held accountable. I like you're the nobody's better at that than your your songbird. Yeah. He serenaded him with some uh tips how to be Yeah. I serenaded him all right. I told him if they don't shape up, they're gonna go start flipping burgers. (laughs) Hey, maybe they'll get paid. I could write a book. They probably will get a pay raise. They probably will get a pay raise. So, all right. All right. We are going to wrap up this episode. Yeah. Um, comment down below on what you think of the new of the new setup. Yeah, we'll see if Wavering or, works. Well, I'll get that Vivitar working someday. Let's do the soundboard. Oh. How did we do it at my house? We just hooked it up to a speaker? Yeah. And I have I I just don't have the same speaker my brother did, so Oh he had the speaker. Yeah, he brought I'm a like, speaker. I'm like shit, did I have a speaker? No, he brought a speaker, so I'll bring it when I come to town and maybe we'll uh he'll be able to run it again, but we'll figure this out. Oh, so when we have our, our watch along and our, our forum and dinner doing it big yeah all right all right well you get some good rest i'm probably gonna go pass out pretty quick yep. and um we're not gonna sing just yet gotta wait so we only sing that victory song but you guys know how the words go so as long as it's right here in your heart like that joy a song bird once sung about you know the words Keep them handy. Stay up. <laughs> fly, Eagles, fly. All right. All right. Hey, and the Sonberg doesn't always see it either. Like wondering if I was like some religious freak because I have, I have my 